Hey, hey, just a quick message of um, dealing with people in certain ways. You know, I've been sharing kind of what's going on with my life. Um, how someone said, hey, come move in with me and then blew up and then um, just talked nasty to me for days. So, of course, I'm not going to respond. I don't do trauma. <laughs> and I thought, okay, it's had time to blow over, right? I went and did something I needed to this morning, and I came back, saw her, and said, Hey, when you get a chance, can uh, we sit down and talk? Oh, no, I've been messaging you for two days. You haven't even responded to me. And you blah, 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 and starts going off again. Attitude. Nothing but attitude. And I said, No, you haven't been messaging me. You've been talking shit to me about me. Um, Want to be dramatic. And I... Figured we could talk like adults. Oh, no, you made your choice. Getting all cocky again. And um, in the end, I was like, you know what? Let it go. Because I believe that spirit takes me and places me where I need to be in my life. This is the hard part for a lot of us. Because just like I figured this move was where I needed to go. But it's almost like this move was meant to... Rearrange my life, yes, but also, once again, test the faith. But also to bring almost like judgment into someone's household by the way that they treat others. Because you cannot go around in life saying whatever you want to say to people, being harsh, acting like it's your world. It is your world, that's fine. But don't cry about being alone if you're an asshole. Don't cry about bad things happening to you if you're an opportunist. Don't cry when it comes down to you did people wrong, you planted rotten seeds, and you tried to share them. There's a warning that comes that isn't told, but those that are of a higher emotional intelligence, those that are more spiritually open, those that use their heart rather than try to profit and gain off of others. They understand that you don't play around with certain people. I think we forget about there are chosen ones, that there are individuals that are connected with a higher source. And the sole purpose of these individuals is to come in a time where the world is being transformed. If you look around you, you can see that it's being transformed. It's gone from a, from a building and creating and all these things. And now all of a sudden everything's super expensive and toxic and everyone's sick. Well, then we have to revert back to healing, right? You can't just go balls to the wall and think that you're not going to hit the end and be like, there was no ba-boom. It always happens. It inflates and inflates and gets bigger. And then all of a sudden, it's got to come back down to the beginning, the source, the root. And we're at a point where you're separating the chaff from the grain. <laughs> Shake it up. Watch what's useless fly away in the wind. Because you cannot plant rotten seeds. You cannot go around and treat other people as if, they're here to serve you, especially when you have nothing to bring to the table but chaos. I've met a lot of people that are chaotic and they're like, oh, I don't like drama, but they're the ones that initiate it. They're the ones that go around and poke the bull. They're the ones that talk all big and then hide behind a keyboard. <laughs> That's what I've been dealing with for days. This was the first face-to-face -face of, can we sit down and talk like adults? And, oh, the attitude that came with that. I've met a lot of people that cannot handle that face-to-face -face interaction. And it's strange living with somebody that has to message to communicate. We can be in the same room. And the person will go in the other room and message me on my phone to talk to me. I don't understand the concept because I'm a very communicative person that likes face-to-face -face interaction. I like um, 
seeing people's emotions. I like to feel the emotion. I like to understand how the conversation is going. You can't do that in text. You can't do that when you've separated yourself from a situation because then in that sense, the one that's hiding behind the keyboard, their ego is inflated in such a way that they can't communicate effectively. There's a level of immaturity that comes with that because we do need to get back to the face-to-face -face interaction. Granted, I would love to live off in the wilderness. I was talking about that with somebody that I just had to go have a meeting with. I want to go off and enjoy the animals again because at least they warn you. <laughs> they let you know if you're in danger doesn't happen when you deal with humans thing with humans though a lot of them wear a mask and now that her mask has slipped it's almost like because mm, there's no apology she's not going to apologize she actually went back to attacking me and telling me how sorry she feels for my children even though her children talk about her behind her back and say that she needs mental help and she refuses to get it this is where it comes down on a level Say what you have to say about me. I know that I'm divinely guided and I'm highly protected. And I just feel sorry for the people that want to come up against that. Because when you come up against me, you're not coming up against me. You're coming up against a higher power. Because I sit here and I try to encourage others to build themselves up. To heal from the same sort of trauma and drama that I'm in at this very moment. And of course, the person that's the toxic one is going to turn around and say, but you're toxic. I remember when I was with my ex, I educated him on narcissism because I started calling him a narcissist. And I swear he went and educated himself. He listened enough to use it against me. He listened enough to try to make me question myself as a healer. That I was the one that was manipulating people. I was the one that wasn't allowing people to choose. I've never pushed my viewpoint on others. I have simply shared it. But that's what we do. We go around. It's the same as um, religion. You have the choice to choose. That's the awesome part of life. You get to choose what you believe in, what you participate in, how you interact with others, what you're willing to do to succeed. It's all on you. You can blame others. You can treat others with disrespect. But understand when you're going to treat others as if they're um, infantile or that they didn't walk, talk, breathe, think before you came along, then you're going to be sadly mistaken when they walk away and your world falls apart. Because you cannot be so arrogant to come into this world to believe that you're here to be somebody's savior. Don't be a martyr. You're here to save yourself. You're here to learn your lessons. You're here to level up. You're here to do what is good for your soul. We don't all have the same everything. We might be genetically made up very close and similar to one another. But at the same time, we have different energetic um Prince. We have different capabilities. We have different mindsets. We have so many options in this world to choose. What do I want to involve in my world? And the thing is, when you get to a point like where I'm at, I could be feeling stuck. I could be feeling, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. I can get so much anxiety right now, but I have to go, you know what? This isn't new. I have done this rodeo so many times, coming into people's lives, believing we're there to help each other. And then in the end going, hmm, maybe I should have prayed a little harder about that. But even when I prayed, the answer was go. So then I have to accept the fact that I'm here for a reason. That I'm here, if anything, to help the young child that's in the house that doesn't belong to me. Because he's in a situation that my kids were in for years and it's almost like help him have a chance because children are the future. Not these individuals that want to go around and say, 
I'm going to do what I want. You're in my house. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You don't make new rules as we progress along. That's not how it works. When there's an agreement, there's an agreement. Unless it's said in the very beginning, the agreement can change at any time, like a lot of jobs will tell you. But when it comes down to it, we made an agreement. Be an adult. Hold up your end of the bargain. Don't fly off the handle when things don't go your way. That's very immature. And when you get to the point of you deal with immature people, let them be. Because like I said, I gave it a couple days to let everything calm down. And as soon as I opened my mouth, attitude, right back up. You know what? Choke on your tongue. Okay. You're right, your majesty. I don't deal with people that are peasants and charade like royalty. If you don't bring something to the to the table that is beneficial for everyone, get the hell away from me. If you're an opportunist, get the hell away from me. If you're somebody that thinks you should be valued when you are not valuing yourself, shoo shoo. Because those people are the ones that will put toxicity in your energy. And only you can protect yourself. And I think that a lot of people forget that. You're here for you. You have to protect you. You have to protect your family. You have to protect that which matters to you. And when you can look at life and there's a lesson and say thank you for that. You're on the right path. No matter where you end up. If you're going to end up without a roof over your head. Just remember it's temporary. Everything is temporary. Because yesterday, it's not the same as today. Each day is a new day to start over. And look at the world from an op, um, optimistic lens. If you want to go around and try to get what's unjustly yours and slander people and try to turn the world against them, you got another thing coming. <laughs> Song just popped in my head. But um, I don't know. Just trying to help everyone else. Because I know some of y'all are going through the same thing I'm going through. You're always going to meet people that you think you vibe with. And in the end, you're like, ooh. I guess you were just plugged into someone I thought I knew. <laughs> don't take it personal. The world's full of a lot of broken hearts. Their sole intention is to let everyone else feel their pain because they cannot heal from their own. It takes a very strong, brave person to look themselves in the mirror and go, this is what I've done. This is how I can fix it. This is how I can choose to live differently. Let it be what it is. Just don't accept um, people that are, are going to mistreat you. Do not allow their words to affect you in such a way that you find yourself going, I'm all those things they said I was. Because you're not. Nobody knows you like you know yourself. Don't let anyone define you. It's all on you. Take the reins and get moving down the road. Um, leave it just right there. Peace, love, and light. Bye.